okay so today i'm just going to explain our about how to how we can group some of the records so first of all i'm just going to take one uh, one uh, file one data from uh, from the chapter number three so you can see that we have one file over here and we have this information so let's take uh, one information let's take like a flight performance uh, 2012 so I'm just going to import this data here in Power BI and you will see number of uh, number of columns are here just I'm, I'm going to load it as it is so once I have loaded once I have loaded you will see on the right hand side uh, the name of the name of the field in this particular table so it will take a couple of minutes uh, you can see this file is a really big file and uh, at the end uh, you, you may also see like how many number of uh, rows that you have added in this data means imported from that particular file so it's a uh, taking time maybe in like couple of seconds and data will be downloaded or imported like more than four millions of rows records are here it's more than enough so on the right hand side you will see you will be able to see number of informations like origin origin and a destination origin is here and destination is here right so so first of all just we want to see uh, the what kind of uh, information that we have here let's take an example of a click on the origin on the right hand side here origin is this one from here and then uh, we have some uh, uh, this is a carrier this is uh, origin right so we can see uh, departure time like a delay time so so lot of information that we have here so destination this is the destination we have and this is the origin that we have so this is ATL ATL is the name of the flight right it's the name of the flight. this is the origin city name so from where this flight is going to uh, depart right so departure departure and uh, means the source and that this is the destination now what i want i want to group some of the information if i just scroll down i want to see like for this atl like how many how many times like how many um, number of uh, flights that were there in the year 2012 so that's that information can be collected and gathered and or filtered with the help of one feature that i'm going to explain today so here we need to find where that information is right so for this one that what you need to do first of all like this is this data that we have here so go to home first of all uh, from where that we can get the information the thing is that we want to make some modification if you want to make some modification it means we are going to transform some data we're good uh, we're going to edit some data so the editor we want so this editor can be can be found and open with the help of this button transform data so once we click on the transform data so now the same file will be open there in the transform data platform so here here we have a number of tools so these tools are just very helpful so I just want to go for like transform means want to make some modification I want like origin let's say the origin is here and we have a group by on the left hand side so where you will find it under the transform not any other on any other field so click on the group by the what you will find here is a basic and advanced so first I am going to start with the basic one so basic origin so origin that white has come here it has come because I before clicking this group by button on the left hand side I clicked on this one so that's why it is coming right for example if I if I select this one destination and if I click on group by then destination will come and again what I'm going to do I'm just going to click on origin and I click on the group by and that will appear here no doubt that we can change from here there is no any problem right we can change it from here so first is like origin then count count and count rows so what i want i want to group that information right if simply i click on ok what will happen i have just clicked on ok so we can see that 290 
299 rows that we found and in ATL count is 31,042 flights 31,042 flights right so I just want to change once again and I if I don't want this information right so this is the group by that we have done with the basic one I just want to go for a little advanced so what I need to do I'm just going to delete this one from the right hand side you will see all the applied steps I'm clicking on this close sign then it is undo now again I'm just going to click on maybe origin and also something else that I want origin plus carrier okay so group by here I click on advance then origin add grouping so origin as well as I'm going to select the carrier origin is here carrier means the name of the you can say flight right so here what I want I want count first of all and aggregate I want aggregate function as well so I want uh, not only the count but also I want uh, to see delay right so delay means like you want to see average delay right so average delay uh, here I'm just going to click the average and here I'm just going to select uh, departure delay okay uh, this is uh, one this is uh, just a counting counting all the rows will be counted here second this one now if I want to go for uh, average and uh, maximum delay for example maximum delay here I'm just going to click for maximum it means uh, all the maximum uh, uh, delays data that will be displayed here departure delay and click on ok once I click on ok once I click on ok then you will find here some information it is a processed and a one two three so three column have been added over here so you will be able to see average delay is this much and maximum delay is this much okay so this is origin as well as the carrier so origin and carrier that you have found it here so this is how like a grouping function is a very useful right in the interpretation of data right? okay so now if I would like to change a little bit like for example I just only want uh, the carrier only want carrier with the, uh, all the information what I'm going to do just uh, delete undo the previous one and go to grouping once again and here I just only want origin not career so here I am going to delete it origin origin and origin city name any anyone we can use let's see origin city name and just I want to count here what I want only I want uh, average delay light delay this is the name of the column I selected and here I have uh, delay data right so I have delay data here so I'm just going to select a departure delay and okay uh, let's see So now uh, in this case origin city is this much this is the origin city and average delay that we have found it here it's average delay so you you can find like 294 rows 294 rows you can found it here Okay, so this is 294 rows. So this is uh, how we can use a group by function in uh, Power Query Editor. And once everything is done, go to Home and close and apply, close and apply. So if I want only and only that information in Power BI, then I will be able to see it here and import it here very easily. So I have this information here. I can use it for other purposes if I want right so this is how it works